Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Hartlepool Road to Glory. Now in the last episode we played in the FA Cup and well against Chelsea. We took him to a replay after drawing one all at Stamford Bridge. Went 3-1 down going to the last few minutes of the game, but somehow we met we just kept on pushing and we managed to knock them out of the FA Cup. 4 3 after 120 minutes. Well, actually, no, it's more like after 90 minutes, which is absolutely incredible. Um, now, you're probably wondering, who have you got in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup? Well, we had, there was, right, left in the competition, we had Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, Man United. There was us, and I can't remember the other team. I think it was West Brom. I might be completely wrong. But question is, who have we got? I have no idea who I've got. So the thing is, so what we're going to have to do is, we can have to have a look and see who we have got in that FA Cup quarterfinal. My guess is one of the is another Premier League team. Let's go have a look, guys. We have got been extremely, extremely lucky. We've avoided Liverpool. We've avoided Arsenal. Man City we avoided, and Manchester United we avoided. The other team was actually Norwich, not West Brom, so my bad. So there are five Premier League teams left in the FA Cup, two Champions League, t two Championship teams, and a League One team, and that being us. We avoided the big guns, that's good. We avoided Norwich, which is good. We avoided Northern Forest. We've got Brentford. So technically, we have been lucky to avoid Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City and Man United. As you can see, Liverpool and Arsenal go play in each other. City up against Northern Forest and United are up against Norwich. How lucky can you get from playing Chelsea in the round of 16 to playing Brentford in the quarterfinals? Doesn't get much easier than that. Wow. But guys, that is going to have to be put on hold. That is actually the game after this. Uh, we're up against Warsaw. They are actually in fifth. So technically, I should be playing this. But I'm going. To co I want to concentrate on that FA Cup game against Brentford. So here we go. They've lost the last two games. So hopefully, we can beat them. And if so, that would be absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. A two-all draw. Okay, that's not too bad. Featherston getting both the goals. A two-all draw against the team who are currently... Well, who are currently in fifth. I don't know... Whether they'll move up, down, or just stay where they are. But a two-all draw, I'd happily take that. Especially against a team who are battling for playoffs. Right, I was in two minds about playing this game. Brentford are in the division just above us. And I believe our goal, our team is probably a little bit stronger than theirs. I'm not too sure. But I've decided I'm going to risk it. I mean, our objective was to get to, like I think it was the round of 16 or something. Or round of 32. So we've, we've got past that, so... And to get to core finals, if we can, if we can get through to semi-finals of the FA Cup, that'd be absolutely incredible. Will we get to semi-finals? I really hope so. That way we can play at Wembley. And a one-all draw, guys. A one-all draw against a Championship team. We could have lost it, but Bingham in the dying moments getting a goal. So it's another game we have to play. But this time we will be at home. So fingers crossed. We can do what we did against Chelsea. Um, well, we did to Chelsea, but this time against Brentford because I think I'm going to play it. Guys, our next game is against Peterborough. They are in fifth, I believe, or fourth. They are three points behind us, but we have a much better goal difference than them. So if we need, even if we lose, we will stay second. But a win will take us top of the league of the, of, of the Football League One. Uh, they picked up seven points from their last nine games. So this could be a difficult game. But if we lose, not really too bothered. They'll just be level on points with us. But we get a 2-1 victory. That is absolutely fantastic. Bingham and Lewis getting the goals for us. Fantastic stuff. Really happy with that. That means we should, with Bill Luck, be top of the league. Guys, is this for real? Five games in two weeks. We've literally just played play Peterborough, and now we've got to have the replay against Brentford. 
Is this some kind of sick joke? What is this? Then we've got to play Berry on Saturday. Then we've got like nearly a week until we have to play Rotherham. And then we've got Millwall. On... This is ridiculous. How many games have we had this month? We've had... We played Plymouth, Warsaw, Brentford, Peterborough. Brentford again. Berry, Rotherham and Millwall. We've had eight games this month. That's nearly two games per week. Guys, that is just crazy. This is something that needs to be sorted out. Because we cannot play Brentford one day after a league game. It's It can't happen. It literally just cannot happen. But we've got to play it. And it, it's a chance to get a place in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Right then, guys. So, it's the... Replay against Brentford in the Emirates FA Cup. Remember, this is a place in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And a chance to play at Wembley. If we can do this, it would be an amazing achievement. And just look at that. We could potentially go up against Liverpool, United. I'm hoping Norwich can get past Manchester United. But I doubt they will. So, I think United will be in the semi-final. It would just be incredible. Unfortunately, most of my team are absolutely knackered. So, this is my second team going up. Bar Messionnel in goal. But, guys. We can... I, I have a feeling we can knock out Brentford here. And it would be absolutely incredible. So, let's do this. Let's go, guys. Oh, Jordan Richards. Go on, son. Go on. Finish that. Five minutes in, and he's put over. Guys, that is half the time. Currently, nil-nil. Been a good sort of start to the game. We were quite good. You know, had, had a, we've had a couple of good shots on target. But Brentford, their passing is a little bit too good for us. Nil-nil at the break, but I'm confident we can get a goal. One goal, that's all I want. And obviously to win. Offside, I was going to say, how was that not offside? If that was counted, I would have actually raged. Because we've been doing so well, but... Yeah, lucky it was offside. Let's have a look. Nicely done. Made this run a little bit too early there. Oh, come on. Please, please, play across. Oats! Are you, sh are you shitting me, Oats? Are you actually shitting me? Two great opportunities to score, and he's fucked them both. Alright, guys, so we are going to extra time. I literally have no idea how I didn't score in this game. Oates had two great opportunities to score, and he literally... One, he put well over the bar. The other one, he hit the crossbar. Simple tapping, right? Oh, let's just... Oh, my God. Let's just try and hope we score in this extra time period. Half time of extra time and still nil nil. Not many opportunities in that first half, but still another 15 minutes to go. I don't want this to go to penalties. Please don't make it go to penalties. Come on, please. This is to this is to win it. Play across. Come on. Yes! 120th minute. We have surely knocked up Brentford and we are going to Wembley. Oh my god. This was such a frustrating game. But we have scored and I believe it's Loza. Oh my god. See, Oates had that opportunity to score at the end of the game. He didn't. The difference between Loza and Oates... Loza has, has more energy because he's a sub. But his finishing is better and he's better rated. Thank you so much, Loza. You are getting a pay rise. I don't care. But you may have to wait until we're in the championship. 1-0. <laughs> and that is surely game over. It is game over. Guys, FA Cup semi-final for a league one team that is just insane 
Jamal Loza, 121st minute of a replay of extra time scoring the winning goal. We can now relax. We've got a few league games in between now, from between now and the semi-final. But I don't care. Semi-final in the FA Cup. Right then, guys. So we're back to league action. We've got an away game against Bury there, round about the mid-table. So I'm not too worried. Hopefully, we can pick up victory here, and there's no FA Cup hangover. We do. We get a 2-0 victory. Lewis and Parker both getting the goals. Unfortunately, Parker got a red card, but it didn't really matter. We we won, and we should remain top of the league, if I'm not mistaken. We're into our next game. We're up against Rotherham. They are in actually in seventh place, which is a little bit worrying, but hopefully my team is strong enough to beat Rotherham or at least get a point from them. We get a two-all draw. Bingham getting both the goals. Remember, we don't have our first-choice striker in Jameson, he is out for the rest of the season, which he picked up in the last episode, which is a real shame. But Bingham's still banging in the goals. Um, I want to know how Colchester got on. They also drew. They drew one all with Plymouth, so we should still be top. We're into our next game, a home game against Millwall. They are currently in fifth place. We've got a second team going up because the first team are absolutely knackered. We lose 2-1. Which is a real shame. Galindo came on and get got our goal. And unfortunately, Colchester beat Portsmouth 2-1. So that means we could be down to second place once again. Uh, that's a pain in the ass, that. I guess you could tell which which team which team is better out of my first team and my second team. And it does seem my first team is that, is that better. Alright, so guys, I wanted to see who we've got in... The semi-final of the FA Cup before we go into our next game. We got Liverpool. So and you see there Norwich actually knocked Manchester United out on penalties. They won 5-4 on penalties. So we're up against Liverpool and Norwich are up against Manchester City. So we could play Norwich. If we beat Liverpool, we could actually play Norwich. Or we could play Manchester City. And I know I'd rather play Norwich. Because you know what happened against Manchester City last year? We played against them. Took them to penalties. But we got knocked out. So I'm hoping we could do the same here. Though Remember there's no replays in the semi-final. Because it's just at one venue. Which is Wembley. So there'll be 120 minutes. So there'll be the full 90 minutes. And then if it's a draw. It'll be a re it'll be a extra time. And then... If it's still a draw, it'll go to penalties. But I'm hoping we won't need penalties. Because we could put, we would probably get knocked out by Liverpool. But Liverpool in the semi, FA Cup semi-final. City up against Norwich. But guys, before that semi-final, we have got a South End away. This is a full strength team. We've got our best players going. Obviously, apart from the ones that are out injured. We get a 2-1 victory in against and Bingham getting the goals, getting the goals for us. Inigues actually scored on the 78th minute, which is absolutely brilliant. I don't know how Colchester got on. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they lost because that means we can actually go above them and go top of the table. So a 2-1 victory, I would, I would have taken that. Guys, we've got some more training. Let's see if we can get some growth. Inigues is now rated 73. It looks like Saints actually grew. To 71 after that game against South End and Azevedo. Come on, man. You can do it. You can get to 74. I have every faith in you. Right then, guys. So, this is our last league game before the FA Cup semi final. We're up against Bradford. Let's see if we can get a victory. We do. We get a 2 1 victory, which is absolutely brilliant. Walker and Bingham. Bingham's actually getting goals, which is absolutely fantastic. So, even though Jameson. Is being missed because he, he can score goals. Bingham is stepping up to play. And that's what I needed him to do. A 2-1 victory. They actually missed a penalty on the 7th minute. And then scored on the 12th minute, I mean. So it came from 1-0 down. And we won 2-1. Good result. Now, we're going to check the league table. And then, in the next episode, it's the FA Cup semi-final. And I forgot to mention there's also another training session. So... 
Let's have a look. And as Avado finally reaches 74 rated, I'm now going to take him out of training. Just for a while, he's going to be still... He'll be doing some training in like a few weeks, but... You know, 74 rated. He's literally my best player now. 91 ball control. 91 ball control. For a CDM. That is insane. Right then, guys. So, before we end the episode, let's have a look at the League One table. And as you can see, we are currently in second place. One point behind Colchester, who lead the way on 79 points. We're in second, even though we're level on points for Warsaw. But, we have a better goal difference. Look how many goals we have scored. 73 goals we have scored this season. And we've only and we've conceded 37. Only Bristol City... And Rotherham have conceded less goals now. So, it shows we can actually win games. I would love to go through. I'd, I'd actually love to get promoted as champions. But, will it happen? Who knows? I don't know. I don't think we've got to play Colchester anymore. Um, I think the rest of our games are against teams that are like lower down in the league. So, that'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, second in the league, not too bad at all. We've actually won less games than Warsaw, and they're in third. But we've drawn, you no, know, we've drawn five more games than Colchester, but we've lost three less games than Colchester. So been a good season, and I'm hoping we can get promoted as champions. But automatic promotion will be good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if so, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here to keep up to date for when I upload, and. I'll see you in the next episode where we've got this FA Cup semi-final. Cheers, lads. Peace and...